It's not the will to win that matters Severian has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. This quote emphasizes the importance of preparation in achieving success. It reminds us that while many desire victory, it's the dedication to readiness and hard work that truly sets winners apart. In every endeavor, from sports to life, thorough preparation lays the foundation for achievement. It's a powerful reminder that success is not merely about wishing for outcomes, but actively working towards them with determination and diligence. I believe it. You are, you are a hard worker. Nah, I'm I don't have no reason to lie. I bust my ass to come out here to do this, man. Um, this is after a whole shift of work. This is after everything. Bathing kids, feeding kids, everything. The duty comes before this. My duty as a man comes before YouTube. You know, my duty as a man comes before anything extracurricular. And this YouTube is very extracurricular because I'm explaining something to you. While I have a loyal following, while I have a loyal support group on here, I'm gonna be honest. Most people, most people on here, I got a few people who care or you know watch me and understand what I'm doing, but most people on here could give a fuck or could give a could give a crap about me and mine. You know, I understand that. Um, I understand that I'm just a man on the internet to some people, and some people don't give a fuck about me or mine. I truly understand that. See, I'm not one of them egotistical niggas running around seeking validation and seeking attention. I don't care about that. I don't want to be uh, the most popular. I don't want to be the most liked. I don't want to be the most uh, uh, popular. I don't care about none of that shit. I want to be the most valid. I want to be the most righteous. I want to be the most... Um, decent that I can fucking be and, and now let me explain something to you the more decent you become in your life the more fucked up people treat you the more good you become in your life the more evil people treat you and and let me explain something to you why I made the title adults are not loyal most adults are not loyal the reason I made this title when you're living in life When you're living in life and you uh trying to do the right thing and you're yo man when you're living life and trying to do the right thing and you're doing the right thing right Christian beliefs and it went against people's Christian thought process even though it was based on logic and reality they still unsubscribe from my channel they still stop watching and stop hey they the big homie partners in the partnership the school of hard knocks that's without a scholarship they call me just in time and it's so appropriate they might have a little flavor but they nothing close to this R.I.P. the Dre Bo cause you one that's really missed shout out to my cousin Keith H.O.T. I represent I just called my brother Kobe now we back at it again I took a negative turned it to a positive after two surgeries man they still can't stop the kid I got them all amazed I ain't even popped the lid I love my aunt Tussie she gon' tell it how it is R.I.P. my uncle booby unk I wish that you was here come on like we live a mess I thank God because Cause I'm blessed, got something to say, gotta get it off my chest. They got diamonds and gold, but what about the rest? I'm trying to pull us out, but I never get the chance. It's like we live a mess, I thank God because I'm blessed. Got something to say, gotta get it off my chest. They got diamonds and gold, but what about the rest? I'm trying to pull us out, but I never get the chance. Come on. Channel, even though what I said was based in reality, so I just I'm I'm proving to y'all, and I'm gonna prove to y'all without but without a shadow of a doubt, when adults don't agree with you, they don't give a fuck about you. They will have no loyalty. Look, you could catch your girlfriend, you could catch your friend. Say if you're a friend, say a female, you're a female, right? And you got a homegirl, 
your best friend, y'all grew up together, y'all been friends for 30 years, y'all been best friends for 20, 30 years, right? You catch this broad cheating on her boyfriend. You catch your best friend cheating on her boyfriend, right? Oh, no, 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 let's just say it like this. You catch your, your homegirl's boyfriend cheating on her, right? You catch him out and about red-handed. Your friend is not with you, but you catch him and you see him red-handed. Turn it into lemonade They may be more popular But I went a different way A piece of mind is one thing you can't replace Every time I hit the beat You know I'm gonna love the tape This DJ is on fire That's right On fire And it's not your homegirl Right? So the first thing you tr you think you're gonna do You wanna look out for your friend You wanna help your homegirl, right? So you go out your way And you mind somebody else's business trying to help them out and you call her and you say when life give you lemons turn it into lemonade they may be more popular but i went a different way a peace of mind is one thing you can't replace every time i hit the beat you know i'm gonna levitate it's good for your soul like grandma's red velvet cake they don't hide it no more put it right there in your face forced out my community they won't catch me out of place if you've seen the things i've seen some of you might look away when my sister was alive she often sung about better days and life is so precious like my daughter melody you can't see what's going on stevie wonder could see when you hear a time burst there's no choice but press repeat i Come spit on. nothing but the truth they just push me to the side when you hear a time burst i'ma take you for a ride really miss the old days it's so different now if we all come together we can figure it out i speak nothing but the truth they just push me to the side when you hear a time verse i'ma take you for a ride really miss the old days it's so different now if we all come together we can figure it out come on all day turn it up boy see now you are being a loyal friend this is you exhibiting loyalty right you're trying to be loyal to your friend so you go out your way and go tell her you caught jeremy cheating on her at the mall but this broad don't want to hear the truth because until somebody's ready to accept the truth it don't fucking matter if they hear it or not if you can't accept the realities of life you won't hear the truth at all so just like big bad is on here every day just like just like here i'm on here every day trying to bring y'all the truth and expose y'all to the realities of life most times out of 10 don't nobody give a fuck what i'm doing and saying because a lot of this shit goes against a lot of people's popular contradictory to their popular beliefs so look your friend she can't believe or can't accept that her boyfriend's cheating on her because she don't have no other boyfriend. She's she knows she had an idea in her heart that she was getting cheated on. She had an idea the whole time. She knows how he is. She knows what he does. She knows how he reacts and how he moves. So she might have in her heart already knew this was going on or had a feeling. And now you being the loyal friend that you are come to tell her about it. Nine times out of ten, what is she going to do? Nine times out of ten. Your friend that you're trying to be loyal to and help save her from getting her fucking stupid ass heart broke, she's gonna flip on you and say, bitch, mind your goddamn business and stay out of my motherfucking relationship, bitch. This is what she's gonna do. And I know my my woman accent ain't the best, but that's, I've heard black women do this. I've seen black friends, homegirls fight over trying to expose the boyfriend was cheating on her. Because that broad knew her man was cheating, but she was accepting of that shit because she knew that she can't do no better. She's to the point and to the acceptance that she can't get no better than him. So she's gonna deal with the shit he's putting her through because she wants a man. So loyalty is not is not common in adults. Loyalty is not common in adults. Motherfuckers go to work, right? And their boss. Let me tell y'all how adults are not loyal. I'm gonna break this shit all the way down. Motherfuckers go to work, right? And
and they, their boss tells them, hey, get down on your hands and knees and scrub that floor right there. It's this beat, this beat remind me of a G. I stay solid, give you nothing in between. They keep up with the Jones, we'll live above our means. Looking at what they put up on the screen. Then we give up on our dreams, cause the sound will pine out, cause my flow is so clean. Let's go. Uh, it's some shit, some gunk over there in that floor right there. Somebody else dropped. Are you doing me a big favor? And you can you can you scrub that shit? Get down on your hands and knees and scrub that shit for me, please, please. I I, I really I tried to scrub it earlier, but my knees started hurting. So you know, by the time you came in, I figured like beep beep. This beep remind me of a G. I stay solid, give you nothing in between. They keep up with the Jones, we'll live above our means. Looking at what they put up on the screen. Then we give up on our dreams. Could have signed with Pine Sauce, cause my flow is so clean. I can't stop now. Who gon' give them what they need? I can never be the tree. I can only plant the seed. It's all up to you once the message is received. Time get it jumping just like a trampoline. When it's cold outside, mix this with kerosene. And right before I leave, I repeat a Dominique. Come on. There's no way they stopping me. Come on, that's not the way I operate. Come on, came in the game to dominate. Come on, trying to shake them haters off for me. Come on. There's no way that they stopping me. Come on, that's not the way I operate. Come on, came in the game to dominate. Come on, trying to shake them haters off for me. Come on. Hey, you, you, you can help me with this, so can you, can you scrape that off the floor for me? Now, if your husband at home asked you the same thing, hey baby, it's some gunk in the corner over the kitchen over there, some, I think the kids, somebody spilled something over there, some gunk in the kitchen, I tried to get it up, but I got to leave, I don't have a lot of time to clean that up, do you think you can clean that gunk up for me? Uh-uh, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? I ain't cleaning up no motherfucking junk, nigga. You clean that gunk. But we're at work. She says, yes, sir, and gets on her motherfucking hands and knees and scrapes the gunk with no, no, no second thought. She might be in her head saying, man, fuck this nigga. I'm gonna clean this goddamn mess, but... It just right away. Now let's talk about it. Now it's all falling down. There's no way to doubt it. I can stand the test of time versus so astounded. Distracted from what's going on in the world around you. Come on, dance now. She's doing it. She might have in her heart said, I don't feel like doing this, but she's on her hands and knees scrubbing that goddamn mess for, for her boss. They just ride the wave, now let's talk about it. Now it's all falling down, there's no way to doubt it. I can stand the test of time versus so astounded. Distracted from what's going on in the world around you. It don't hit too close to home, you don't worry about it. Back flip two times, for so acrobatic. Give it my heart and soul, the best they 50-50. They say time the hottest thing to touch the television. I'm about to put an end to all the skepticism. They can't touch me, man, they just control the narrative. They try to shut me down sometimes to get discouraging. The man that win the fight, the one that can't endure it. Come on. They had their time to do it, now it's my time. So many days of rain, was the sunshine? When I'm drafted, man, no invite to the combine. I beat the odds, man, I could have played in drum line. They had their time to do it, now it's my time. So many days of rain with the sunshine. When I'm drafted, man, no invite to the combine. I beat the odds, man, I could have played in drum line. Come on. But she has no loyalty to her man, her husband, so she won't do the same thing that her husband asked her. Just an example of adults have no loyalty for one <clears throat> another example you could be in a relationship with a woman right or in a man it don't matter who you with you could be in a relationship right and you know you know things aren't going right you know things aren't going well right you're doing the best you can but shit is not right you know if your woman finds the right man or if they stumble across the right or wrong dude depending on whatever they're looking for you know in your heart if they stumble across or she stumbles across that right man she's gonna leave your dog ass for him you know in your heart if your woman gets the chance she's gonna fucking cheat on you because she's showing signs of disloyalty 
What can you do? Nothing. Let me be honest to and explain something to y'all. There's nothing that you can do as an adult to secure somebody's fucking loyalty. Most adults were not raised or bred or taught to be fucking loyal. Most adults were taught to be selfish, sorry, and individualized. Most adults were taught, if that shit don't serve you, if that relationship don't serve you, go to something that does serve you. Why do you think people go out to eat to be served and try to shit on the servers? Why do you think people go out to eat and just to feel the advantage or to feel ahead or on top of somebody, they like to shit on the server? Hey, hey, I need two more cups. Hey, 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 I need some more lemons over here. Hey, 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 we need some forks. Hey, 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 we need some hot sauce. Knowing good and well, they're not planning on tipping. The reason it's like that is because we're living in a nation of disloyal motherfuckers. I sat back and watched almost every day people rather talk shit to each other and demonize each other than build each other up. I watch this shit everywhere I go, work, home, not home, not home, not home, at work and society, that's what I'm going to say, public, like stores and shit. People, because, now let me make the example, when you're in school, because everybody went to school, most of us went to school, when you're in school, right? The popular kids in school, the people who can dress nice and they look good and they have a lot of money and they have a lot, you know, they have things, they're pretty much well to do. Those people click up and hang together, which is not a problem because classes hang with certain classes, groups hang with groups. I'm not mad at classism. I'm not mad at that. That's not the problem, right?